Hey everyone, what's going on? So, hope you guys are having a wicked, wicked day. I am trying out some new software, so hopefully you guys can also give me some feedback on how it's going. Um, I'm getting so many questions about my sales pages. So I just launched another program, you guys know, and um, I create all my own sales pages myself. I do them inside Canva, and usually I talk a lot about funnels and that kind of stuff, but I figured I would give you some behind the scenes access into my sales page design. So let me show you what it is that I'm talking about. Um, I'm gonna show you a few different examples, and then I'm gonna walk you through what is most important in terms of um, what I think makes these pages a lot more badass. And you're welcome to ask me questions if there's certain things that you wanna know, like how the heck do you make it happen? Keep in mind that I've also been, you know, doing this for a little bit of time, so you get a, you, you, you know, you kind of figure out some tricks along the way, but I'm happy to share whatever it is you would like to know. So here's a sales page for the new program I just launched. Um, and there's a lot of little things that make it look um, better, right? So in the background, it's not just plain white text. Um, you know how the, the page is scrolling and then I have me kind of cut off here in the background. Um, images here visually, images to you know break things up into columns. Um, Mock-ups are huge. Testimonials, not just kind of like putting them up there, but highlighting things and making them stand out. So it's, you know, this program stand up, right? Little things like this, hey, early bird in a different type of text, that makes a difference. Testimonials like this, mock-ups are one of my fave things. Um, so that's a page um, there. Uh, another sales page here, for example, I want to show you like different icons here. So instead of just saying like, you're going to get this, you're going to get that, having um, icons and it just makes it, uh, you know, visually so much more appear appealing uh, in the background images again. So these are some examples of some of my sales pages and I want to give you guys the deets on how things are done. Um, so let's dive right in. Um, I'm going to show you first. And then some of you are watching it live. If there's something that you're seeing that you're like, tell me, tell me, then feel free to um, feel free to ask. And otherwise, I will um, just kind of go through a flow. I want to show you how I do the backgrounds. I want to show you how to create the mock-ups. I want to show you about the fonts um, and then a few image things. And then if there's something that's jumping out at you where you're like, SJ, teach me, then let me know. And if you're watching the recording, um, keep that alive in the comments as well. All right, so let's jump to first the mock-ups, my fave. Okay, so on that page here, you saw that when I was breaking down the modules for um, what people are going to get, um, I have these little mock-ups. So this is simply, um, well, maybe it might not be so simply, but I'll show you in a few different parts. Um, and let me see if you can make, blow it up a little bit. Okay, so the first thing that I would wanna do if I was creating something like this here, right? You see that paper with the iPad? Um, I just think it looks so good. So what I would do first, I need a few different steps here. So the first step is I need to have the actual um, cover design that's gonna go into that iPad. So I would first create like that image on um, inside, I use Canva, you can use you know other software, but I'm obviously a Canva fanatic. So I would first create this, it's just the flat design that would be the cover of my actual PDF. And then I would go over to a website that I love called Mock You Phone. And then I would get the actual iPad design. This is really straightforward. You can figure out how to use it. It's so good, you just download it. Okay, so then I have the i the actual flat image inside Mock You Phone. Now I would want that piece of paper or you see me use a lot of these like notebooks or whatever. Um, I, I have a big stock image account where I can get them. There is a ton of different accounts where you can go ahead and get these different design elements. So if you're in health, you might wanna get some like cool fruit or you might if you're in business you might want to get like paper clips or just think about some cool stuff that you can add along um as in terms of design elements you can you know i have big stock account there's a lot of free um royalty free is it royalty free is that what they're called for images yeah so you would grab your um your image and then when you're inside canva let me go back to wherever it was here okay so then you would have your image on the um the uh, the iPad or the computer, and then you would just put them together. So here, for example, is the actual iPad, and then I have it here, and then I space it however I would like to space it, and then this gives me an awesome image, um, then I would download it and upload it to my sales page, and it starts looking like this. So here's an example, here's an example. Cool. These testimonials, right? So these are screenshots here. Um, look so much better than just kind of putting them out there, right? So 
how I do those. So you know how to create mockups. Leave there. So here I just put them together how I want to stack them based on what's going on. And then to highlight something that someone is saying, not this line. Maybe it's because I've typed in caps. Canva wants to be fussy. There could be better ways of highlighting and doing things, but I would just grab something and if there was a section that I wanted to highlight that someone was saying because I want to draw the reader's uh, attention there, I put my color on there and then I make it transparent and then it just, you know, creates that um, that highlight effect. You can use yellow, you can use pink, you can use whatever you like, but I think that it really makes things stand out um, and look a little bit more awesome. Cool. So these mockups here are created the same way with that flat image and then you kind of just put them into place. This is mock you phone. Um, also, one of the big things are um, the backgrounds. Um, backgrounds are huge. So depending on which page builder you're using to build your page. So maybe you're building your pages on WordPress. Maybe you're doing it on ClickFunnels, like these ones here are ClickFunnels built pages. Maybe you're using lead pages. The backgrounds are um, different than just putting images on your pages, right? So depending on your page builder, Optimize Press, whatever, um, they all have um, an opportunity or they all have that available option to put backgrounds in there. So make sure that you are separating your backgrounds from your images that are in those sections. I know that's a little bit clunky, but feel free to ask questions. But I wanna talk about backgrounds because that's what um, makes this stuff look so much better. So I just want to pop back and say what's up and let's dive right back in. <laughs> what do you think about this software? It's kind of cool, eh? We've been like testing it and hopefully you guys like it. All right, so backgrounds here. Um, I do those like so. Let me get out of this one. You know how to stack your stuff. Here, so, um, is that the right one? So here, yeah. Felicia asked, are you building that in ClickFunnels? Am I building the sales page? Mm -hmm. Yeah, my sales pages are built in ClickFunnels, but I also have some in lead pages and I also have some in WordPress. It's all really the same. Um, the same format and system here um, in terms of backgrounds and adding different design elements. I Even on my website, my about page and my homepage and everything has the same features. That's a great question. Um, okay, so if I wanted to have a background on something, I use this size, let me tell you what it is, 1920 by 1080. So, and then I go ahead and say, okay, what do I want? Um, so I might just put a picture of me or anything for that matter. So let's say I wanted to use this picture here. I would, this one is not really transparent, so I would have to get that made transparent, which is also something that you guys should do when you're doing your photo shoots and stuff. So these are transparent images where the background is removed. Of course, I'm not gonna get into that right now, but I do um, get my photo shoots done and then I will hire a designer to make them transparent. So let's say I wanted to have a white background, um, but I wanted it to be I want it to be a little bit more transparent because I plan on putting text over top of it. So I might put it in a background like that or if it was where I wanted it to show up, I would keep it full. If I wanted it to be a dark um, background because I wanted to you know, put white text on top, I would do one of these. Um, I would just put a square on top. Blah. Any official graphic designer is probably watching this and being like, what the heck are you doing? But the facts are that my sales pages look bomb. <laughs> just saying so how it happens doesn't matter I think anyway so you could just do something like this and then you could put text on top in your actual builder so I think that looks awesome um, if you wanted to use one of your branding colors I could do it section like that and this is how I create these different so you see how there's me there um, see how there's a yes there and it's kind of faded um, I just wanted to you know add something a little bit different and not have it just be a white um, background so I just kind of did one of these like so uh, picked a font made it really big but then I wanted it to be kind of blurred in the background so I also made this a little bit more transparent so that it's just kind of there so like that just kind of in the background right and then it's not the exact same font but you get the point so that's how I did that same thing here um, same thing here yeah, okay, so you know how to create these mockups here. Let me show you this one. Um, this one was not done inside um, Mock You Phone. This would have been done in um, Oh, I think I X'd out of it. But essentially all I did was I stacked them up on top of each other 
um, in a different canvas size than the one I was in before. But I just grabbed a whole bunch of screenshots of my videos. So imagine if these were the screenshots of the actual videos. And then I just took a whole bunch of them, stacked them on top of each other. And then I just found like the play button inside Canva. And then I put that on here. And then that was, that's how we created this one here. See there's different play buttons. So it's a screenshot of my membership site and then I put the play button on top and then I stacked them and then I downloaded it and it looks like a mock-up. Really cool. Um, okay, so that covers the backgrounds. That covers how to create these guys here with the different elements. So I would recommend you guys find a whole bunch of different elements. Um, these fonts here, same thing. So if you want to have, if you don't want it to just have the font that your builder provides, you can easily um, go and create a whole bunch of new, um, let's say you wanted to have like different sections with your own font. That's how I created that Hey Early Bird, right? So I just picked a bunch of subheadings that I wanted to um, make look a little bit better. So I just, obviously early word's not an official word according to Canva and I probably misspelled it, but that's beyond the purposes of this tutorial. <laughs> and then I downloaded it and then I uploaded it as an image. So if you see, if you see me, um, you know, um, have things like this like you ready before I go to make an offer if there's stuff like this inside my sales pages they are actually images and then I upload the images um, before the section so this is you guys know how to do all this stuff now the yes in the background the hey early bird um, and then the other thing that looks really cool I think is instead of just uploading like sometimes we want to show things visually and we don't just want to upload the images onto the builder they don't look so good so I create this as an image so this is one image that I created inside Canva so if I drag this on my desktop if I open it you guys will see that it's one image here and I created this inside Canva I'll show you da, 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 da. here right so I just took you know the actual images that I wanted um, and I stacked them I tried a few different things as you can see I changed my mind a little bit but to keep the images the same size all I did was choose an image frame so um, let's just for the sake of time say it was this frame it wasn't because it was a rectangle without the white line but I just used this frame and then I copy pasted it control C control V stack them on top of each other control C control V like so, and then whatever images I wanted to put inside, I just brought them in there and now it made everything look, let's, let's throw Alyssa in there because, oh, we can't put a transparent image, but, um, so, <laughs> it's too bad. Um, so I just put the images that I wanted in there, me and George St. Pierre. So then I just stack them on top of each other and then I download this and then this is an image on my sales page and it looks so much better than, um, just kind of randomly throwing images and we definitely know that visuals are really helpful for people um, you know if you want to show off what you're doing or show off any any examples that are relevant for your stuff um, okay so that covers and then these things here little tape stuff are just little design elements that I got the same way that I got the notebooks and um, that I was telling you about earlier on big stock so there's extra design elements so the other thing what else icons um, let's take a look here. VIP, I was showing you guys that earlier. So if you want to show that what are people going to get, they're going to get a questionnaire, they're going to get a strategy call, they're going to get, they're going to get, right? As opposed to just having like a million bullets, it, it, it dilutes the message. And, and if you want to really make something stand out, it's really good to have this here um, visually. So I created these here in Canva and then I downloaded them as images, uploaded them into um, my builder, which I use ClickFunnels, but I can I also do this in WordPress. I also do this in um, lead pages. So it's a four column block with an icon and then text underneath. That covers that. What else? What else? What else? Images, right? So I always feel like people, you know, I know I'm visual when I'm learning and I know when someone, when I need to get my point across, um, I always wish that I could kind of like whiteboard for people or do something. So we can create images that would get our point across. So in this scenario, in this example, I wanted people to know like what is a standout brand? 
So instead of me like typing and typing and typing forever and creating this like crazy, crazy long message, I was like, let me just create a visual here. So that's what happened here. Um, and then I took this image and uploaded it to my sales page. And I think that gets the point across there. So now you guys know my main quick and dirty sales page tricks. I do this, I'm a guy for these things all by myself in Canva. Um, so it's kind of fun to see things come to life. It's kind of cool to know that you don't have to spend, like I had quotes on, on having sales pages designed and it's one of those things that because it's mine, it's difficult to explain to people like what is it what is it that you want. So even if you you know want to hire someone, it's still good to know how to add things and make things look better visually. Um, so as opposed to going back and forth and sending a million emails to designers, I was like, let me just figure some things out, and it ended up being a lot quicker than explaining what was in my head. And it's kind of a lot of fun too. So you know all my tricks. If you have any more questions as to how if you saw something where you're like, wait a minute, you didn't show me how to do that, call me on it. I would love to help you through it. Um, and I'd love to see your sales pages and your Canva tricks and leave comments and ask questions and um, we'll talk to you guys soon. Have a wonderful day.